Hi there, David here from Bella Barista. Um, today I'm doing a video on the ACS Minima dual boiler espresso machine. Um, we decided to do a video on it because uh, we've had this machine in for a couple of months now and it's been selling well. Um, but there was a few things that we wanted to cover. We wanted to go through the pros and cons of the machine because we, we've had a few comments both internally amongst ourselves and also from customers about the, um, the pros and cons of the machine. So uh, I thought I'd do a quick video just to uh, cover hopefully all bases. Um, so it's a dual boiler machine, as I said. Um, ACS are a company based in, uh, based in Italy, based in Naples. Um, and they've done one other machine that we've stocked, which was called the Vesuvius, which is a pressure profile machine. Very, very high quality pressure profile machine. Uh, and we were interested in seeing what they were doing further down the ladder. So um, the dual boiler machine, um, really interested in having on board uh, and working with them on it. Um, now then, let's look at the pros, the, uh, the coffee that it produces. So, very, very high quality coffee. You've got obviously dual boiler, you've got a PID on it, uh, controlling each boiler, so you know exactly what temperature each boiler is running at um, at any particular moment. This is everything about a high quality espresso. It's about that temperature stability and being able to extract the coffee at the right temperature. So you've got that, you've got an E61 brew head. Um, now, the E61 is slightly different from the regular E61, so it's not got the lever on the side. All of our other machines with E61s, or most of them, have got the lever on the side that you pull up to extract the coffee. You pull them up, the water comes through at certain pressure and extracts the coffee. This one doesn't have that. Um, this is seen as an advantage because um, it's just a pin switch on the side here that controls the water coming through. So the maintenance is very low. Usually with a, light, with a, um, a lever, you have to re-grease it every so often because um, where you're doing the back flushing and things like that, um, it just wears away the grease a little bit. So you have to get the grease out, take the cam out and re-grease -re it. Uh, this you don't need to do that, it's just a pin switch, so low maintenance. So that's a big pro, a big uh, positive for this machine. Um, the steam boiler is very large, 2.3 litre steam boiler, so steam on it is, I would say, exceptional. So that is a really high quality steam on there, so all good, um, that's hot. Um, you've got the hot water uh, wand as well, giving good water pressure there. So I'll just move out of the way. Um, so, it's a good quality machine uh, internally, it's got some good quality parts inside. Um, it uh, produces high quality coffee and it runs about 25% cheaper than a lot of our dual boilers. Uh, which the next one up starts at £1,700. So, and this is somewhere around that sort of sub £1,300 mark. So, you know, it's very, very good value for money if you look at it from that way and what it can produce. So, why did I put a jar of Marmite up? Um, a, because I love Marmite. Also, because this is very much a Marmite machine. So, we'll now go through the cons of the machine, um, which uh, I would say personally, aren't deal breakers because if your focus is on the quality of the coffee then it's a great machine and it's good value. ACS Minima, as the name suggests, everything is stripped out, everything's minimal. Externally, as you can see, the looks of it are Marmite, very Marmite. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of it, so I, I guess I'm in the haters, although I don't hate it, but I guess I'm on, on that side of things. Um, and it's not to everyone's taste. This cutaway here isn't to everyone's taste. Obviously the big disadvantage is if the only place in your kitchen or where you're going to have it is up against a wall here, then that would seriously hinder you because all the controls, all the steam arm, etc., and the hot water one are on that side. Um, so it's got to be either central or towards this, a wall here. Um, Another con is and where the um, where the compromises are is the quality of the metals. I'd say quite cheap metals and quite sharp metals as well. 
I was cleaning this the other day, I had to be quite careful because there are some sharp edges on there. Um, so what have we got so far? Looks, the finishing quality of the metals I'd say is a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, the quality of the reservoir, if I just bring this out, is a bit of a disadvantage as well. That's a quite a cheap quality reservoir. So, you can see where the compromises have been made to hit the price point. Um, the looks aren't past that really, that's just a quirky looking machine. But the metals are, the reservoir are, is um, where these are, where the steam wand and the hot water wand are, these get quite hot. Um, it's not particularly noisy, but that is noisier than some. Um, obviously it's got a vibration pump in it, so it can't be plumbed in. So it's a standalone machine, run off the reservoir. So yeah, if you look at it, yes there's compromises, lack of refinement um, and the quirky looks. But if your focus is on a good quality coffee and you're prepared to make that coffee and walk away from this machine, then it'll be fantastic. It'll be a lovely, lovely coffee. E61 group head works well. The lack of maintenance is a great little feature. Um, and the quality of the drinks finish, the steam power, etc. It's going to give you a very, very good, good quality coffee. So um, if that's your focus on the quality of the coffee, then why not? Okay, thanks for listening. And we'll see you again soon with another video. Hopefully it won't take so long to do next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.